The purpose of this video is to learn how RTI and data collected through the implementation of RTI can help educators determine student eligibility for Bookshare. This video assumes a prerequisite knowledge of RTI and the essential components of RTI. To learn more, please visit www.rtiforsuccess.org. Bookshare operates under an exemption to U.S. copyright law, which allows copyrighted digital books to be made available to people with qualifying disabilities. In order to be eligible for Bookshare, an individual must have a documented print disability from a competent authority. A print disability is a physically based disability that makes it very difficult or impossible to read standard print. Note this is not the same as regulations under IDEA. A print disability may include students who are blind or have low vision, students with a physical disability where it is difficult for the individual to hold a book or turn pages of a book, a student with a documented learning or reading disability. This includes students with severe learning or reading disabilities that struggle to obtain information from print using standard print-based instructional materials and students who continue to struggle to access print despite high-quality instruction and interventions. All students are not eligible for Bookshare. Students that are not eligible include in students receiving initial instruction in reading, students learning English as a second language who do not have a print-based disability, students who may be struggling because they haven't been exposed to quality instruction, and students who simply prefer to hear books read to them. Remember that Bookshare eligibility decisions must be made by a competent authority who knows and is working with the student to make the decision regarding eligibility. Bookshare does not certify eligible students, but the following questions can be helpful to consider when thinking about eligibility. Can the student decode letters and words at or near grade level? Can the student read with fluency at or near grade level? Can the student understand the content of print materials when the information is presented in another format? for example, when printed material is read aloud? And does the student have accommodations for assessments being read aloud? You can learn more about Bookshare eligibility at their YouTube channel. Please go to www.youtube.com and then search Bookshare. The RTI framework and its core components, screening, progress monitoring, multi-tiered prevention systems, and database decision-making can help educators answer some of these questions and establish whether a student's academic difficulties are the result of a print-based disability related to a reading or learning-based disability or a lack of exposure to quality core instruction and interventions. Screening data collected through RTI implementation allows us to address the questions How does an individual student compare to his or her peers who have been provided instruction? Does core instruction seem to be working for most students? Is the student performing below the grade level target? And is the student performing below his or her peers? In this example, we see one class's screening data. The graphic shows students listed on a spreadsheet based on how they did relative to the target or cut score on the screening assessment. These data show that all the students in the class fall below the target score, with some falling well below the target. This suggests the core curriculum is not effective for all students in the class. While these data suggest that students are below the grade level target, data would make it difficult to know whether a student was struggling because they had a print-based disability or if they simply didn't have access to adequate instruction. 
District schools and grade level teams can look at district wide, school wide, grade wide, or class wide performance by grade level over the year based on screening results to understand how students are doing. This chart shows percent on the y axis increasing from 10% to 100%, and the second grade on the x axis with the school year divided into three categories fall, winter, and spring. By viewing the changes in percentage of students meeting the criteria for each benchmark, we see that only 55% of students met the criteria at the beginning of the year, while 80% met it at the end of the year. In general, it appears as instruction for that year is effective, as students as a whole show improvement across the year. If a student was struggling in a classroom, and most of the other students are responding to the core curriculum, that would be an indication the student might meet criteria for a print-based disability. With screening data, individual student performance can be compared with the norm group showed here in the box plots and the target score which is the black line. This box and whisker plot shows student percentiles on the y-axis ranging from the 25th to 100th percentile, and fall, winter, and spring on the x-axis, representing a complete school year. The key shows that the target percentile is represented by a bold black line drawn through the center or 50th percentile of each box and whisker plot, which ranges from the 25th percentile on the lower end to the 75th percentile on the higher end with the whiskers extending down to the 10th percentile and up to the 90th percentile. The boxes are colored green, and the individual student's data are identified by a blue dot. If you look at the green boxes, you can see that the group appears to be making progress over time, while the student shown in blue is making some progress across the year but his progress is insufficient to close the gap with his peers. In fact, when we look closely, it appears the gap may actually be increasing as the school year progresses from fall to spring, as shown by the increasing difference between the 50th percentile of the peer group and the student's benchmark score. The student is also far below the grade level target. Thus, this is a student who may be eligible for additional support and book share. Together, if screening data indicates that all students receiving the core instruction are struggling, it may be difficult or impossible to know whether the student is struggling as a result of a print-based disability or the simple lack of exposure to quality instruction. But if peers are performing well and the student is far below grade level, it may be an indication that additional assessment is necessary to identify whether they would qualify as a student with a print-based disability and be able to benefit from Bookshare. Progress monitoring data allows us to understand is the student making progress over time? Is the student responding to evidence-based interventions? And is the student making progress towards his or her goals at grade level targets? In this example, we can see that a student has not been responsive to instruction and continues to struggle to read with fluency. The scatterplot graph has words read correctly on the y-axis increasing from 0 to 30, and weeks of instruction on the x-axis increasing from 1 to 14. After 8 weeks of instruction, the student's number of words read correctly is between 10 and 15 the same range from where the student started at week one. The goal line is represented with a dashed line moving in a positive, upward slope, extending to 20 words read correctly by week 13. As it stands, the student trend line is below the student projected goal line. This indicates the student is not on target to meet grade level benchmarks for oral reading fluency, and may provide some data that can support a competent authority in determining if the student is eligible for Bookshare. In contrast, in this graph we see the student was not originally making progress,
but after an intervention change indicated by the dashed line between weeks 8 and 9, the student is making progress. This scatter plot graph also has words read correctly on the y-axis increasing from 0 to 30, and weeks of instruction on the x-axis ranging from 1 to 20. However, in this graph, once the intervention change began between weeks 8 and 9, the student's progress is evident by their increase in words read correctly each week. This suggests that with the support of an evidence-based intervention, the student is able to make progress toward their goal of reading fluently and would likely not be eligible for Bookshare, as they were able to make substantial progress when provided with additional support. As we just saw from progress monitoring data, understanding students' response to more intensive interventions helps us know whether students are able to make progress when provided with instruction that meets their needs. Multi-level prevention systems provide a systematic way to ensure that students are provided with intensive interventions based on need. Secondary or Tier 2 interventions utilize evidence-based intervention programs, and Tier 3 interventions provide intensive intervention tailored to individual student needs. When a student's data suggests that they are unresponsive to a continuum of supports, ranging from high-quality core instruction to intensive individualized intervention, it may suggest that they have a severe learning or reading disability, leading them to struggle to obtain information from print using standard print-based instructional approaches and as a result may benefit from Bookshare. Data from RTI implementation including screening, progress monitoring, and diagnostic data can help identify students' specific areas of need and may provide helpful information as competent authorities identify whether a student has a print-based disability that would make them eligible to benefit from Bookshare. In summary, the RTI framework and the essential components can help a competent authority determine if a student's academic difficulties are the result of a print-based disability or a lack of exposure to quality instruction by reviewing how students perform in comparison to their peers and how they respond to a continuum of more intensive interventions. In addition, screening and progress monitoring data can provide documentation to support decisions. While documented data from an RTI framework may be helpful for determining Bookshare eligibility, Bookshare eligibility is ultimately determined by certifying professionals and additional data may be necessary to make decisions. Additional resources on RTI, Intensive Intervention, and Bookshare are available at the following links. The Center for Response to Intervention, www rti4success.org, the National Center on Intensive Intervention, www.intensiveintervention.org, Bookshare, www.bookshare.org. This project is supported by the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs, Cooperative Agreement Number H327D120002. Opinions expressed herein are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the position of the U.S. Department of Education.